After riding for a few years, I'd get out of bed and just be incredibly sore. I'd have joint pain, weird, weird sore muscles, and just felt like an old man. And to me, I was like, wow, I'm dying young. I'm getting old, this is it, you know? But what I learned is that most BMX riders have this same problem. We get joint pain, we stress our muscles out too much, and the way that our stance is for hours and hours a day when we're riding our bike causes our body to kind of deteriorate. If you're having joint problems, if you're having joint pain while riding your bike, check out this video because I'm gonna talk about things that you didn't know about it. Morad says, hi, Dougster Bob. I hope you're doing fine. I wanted to ask you about BMX and health effects. I'm riding since one year now, and I always experience knee pain and hip pain in both joints. This is um, really crazy that this comes up because this came up uh, a few days ago. I was talking about it with somebody who had just started getting into the sport and I think he, he started roller skating. That's what it was. It was a guy at the skate park. He said he used to BMX but he always got wrist pain. He always got this different kind of pain. Yo, me too. And so to answer your question essentially, Morad, what happens when we ride is it, it really deforms our body. If you think about how we're standing with right foot forward or left foot forward, that has a big impact on your hips. And so if you watch a BMX rider walk, it's the craziest thing, but their legs almost look like this. I mean, not that bad, like <laughs> maybe like one finger shorter than the other. So maybe like this, it's a, uh, you know, one leg looks shorter than the other. And so we kind of have a hobble. And the reason for that, my friend was talking about it and it blew my mind. But the reason for that is that when we're riding like that and landing, it's compressing one of our hips because one, one side of our body is taking more impact than the other subconsciously. And so this causes us to have a really bad posture and really bad alignment. And so anyway, what I'm getting at, I guess, is that what you're experiencing, in my opinion, is normal with BMX, uh, normal with action sports, any sport that really puts a stress on your body. And I think, if I think back to it, in my first few years, this was very common for me. And you guys in the comments, actually, I'm really curious. Do you guys experience hip pain? Do you experience any kind of joint pain? Or do you guys not experience any of that? Because like I was saying, this was very uh, normal for me in the first few years of riding. I would wake up and I just have a throbbing pain in my wrist or my shoulder or whatever it may be. Like these pains, they definitely, like it's a thing. It's, it's a real thing and it sucks. Um, but it also helped me like, kind of get used to it. Now I, I don't take any pain pills or anything like that. And so if I'm having pain, I'm just like, oh, that sucks. And, but I've really gotten used to it because of the BMX side of it. Um, just always having some kind of throbbing pain. And so, but where I'm going with that is after the first three, four years, it seemed to go away or either I got used to it or it just went away. Like, like I said, we're forming, our bodies are forming to how we stand on the bike. And imagine spending six hours a day riding your bike in this position. You know, you're hunched over, your arms are out, your, your legs are bent down, your legs are put in a weird position. And so, so we're standing like this all the time. We're doing this to our body. After a while, it's going to adjust to it and it's going to be used to it. The sad thing is most people don't stick to the sport long enough to experience that. Uh, most people quit within the first year or two. And if you really, you stick it out, you're going to feel, um, better because you're, you're going to be used to it. Things that can help with that, that I've used to help with it is ice baths. They suck, but they do help. Uh, stretching for sure. I always, always stretch, especially your lower body. Uh, one thing I learned is your lower body has a lot to do with your core and with your, you know, just everything because that, that holds everything in alignment. But do stretches and going back to the exercise thing that I was saying, exercise because when we have pain in our body and when things aren't lining up, it's generally because there's a muscle group that's not strong enough to take on the stress that we're putting it under, okay? When that happens, other muscle groups are compromised because they're taking over for that, that muscle group that can't handle it. Um, one, one really good bike rider, uh, Mike Payne, was talking to me about how he slipped a disc in his back. He crashed, he slipped a disc in his back, the doctor said he needed surgery. He said, I don't wanna do surgery. He did some research. He's like, what if I just strengthen my core? 
core. He said he spent months just working out purely his core because your core holds all these muscles together and just does a lot for your body. So he just strengthened his core, never had to get surgery, and was fine, you know, six months or so of doing that. It's a crazy story, um, but it all ties together. And so like a really long-winded answer to your question, it's normal, you're gonna experience it. Um, I think your body gets used to it after a few years, but to mitigate it, to bear, to cope with it, everything like that, you could exercise and stretch. I think those are the best two options for you on there, but it's normal, like I said, so don't stress too much. But for some people it's unbearable, and if you can't handle it, you can't handle it. So if that video was helpful, hit the like button and subscribe so that YouTube will show you more helpful content like this. The video up here on the screen, YouTube thinks is a good fit for you. So check that out.